like most startups, when we started out, we were one team. And we were one team working on an initial product. And then as the company grew, uh, eventually the company split sort of the engineering division into two different teams. And then eventually we decided to split into seven teams, doing something that's called the the inverse or the reverse Conway maneuver. Mm -hmm. This is something that for people who have done it before, it might sound familiar, but it's basically the idea that as the system scales out and grows up, eventually it becomes too complex for one person or for any any one person to be able to explain or comprehend the entire system. So Melvin Conway, and I'll include a link to his uh, some of his writing in the show notes, he basically talked about how in his observation organizationally, I think in the 1960s, systems and the people who work on those systems tend to pull each other into alignment. If you think about it, it's kind of like as you're working on the code or working on some part of the system, you talk to your immediate teammates about changes and factors there, but you tend to talk less frequently with people outside of your team about the same changes on those parts of the system. Mm -hmm. And so in his theory, it was possible to leverage that force. He calls it the isomorphic or the homomorphic force, I've seen it called, where the, the people in the system will pull each other into alignment so that if you want to have a system architecture that is a certain way, one of the best ways to do that is to form teams that mirror that architecture. Mm -hmm. So if you're going, like in our case, we're a commerce platform. We are selling e-learning courses to customers. You can have a team that's maybe focused around the commerce side and that's handling payments and a team that's focused around the catalog side that's serving up what is in our catalog, what is in our offerings. And that's what Gunner's team does. Mm -hmm. And so as the system scales out and you have more and more teams, you also run into challenges around trying to govern those teams or have compliance or do basic setup of those teams and access control, all these things that will probably be really familiar to people mm -hmm. who like security and those kinds of concepts. And so that's where we brought in the concept of the bootstrap, mm -hmm. which is uh, this project that we, that we designed. And so other places that I have worked had kind of some similar things, but I sort of built on top of that with some colleagues and uh, managed to create something where we can effectively do sort of lightweight governance and control of the various parts of the system that need to have that for auditing and compliance purposes and accountability to our stakeholders, but also in a productivity way too, where we're able to deliver some resources and things to people that are maybe otherwise complicated to work with. 